What's up? So coming at you from the car right now, unlike my driving speed right now, which is very slow, things have been happening pretty quickly in the business at the moment recently, and so this is an update video. Um, number one thing that I gotta tell you is actually that I have shipped my first um, client project and the client is using it and is happy with it, and that is like a great feeling and a great goal. Um, it's like a search engine slash internal document uh, company chatbot and yeah, they're using it, enjoying it. So there's obviously some changes to be made there, but I'm super happy about that. And yeah, things are going well in that regard. So yeah, got to try and find some new clients because these first ones I'm almost done with. And yeah, I will get back to you in half a second. There's just a horse I need to avoid. Hello, Mr. Horsey. Hey, I'm back. I managed to avoid the horses. Um, <laughs> So apart from that, shipping that main client project this uh, last week, which was awesome, I also incurred my first major fuck up of the business. Not really a business mistake, but more like a technical decision. I made some mistake on the deployment of um, like another mate slash client project that I've been building um, on a serverless uh, Google Cloud platform project. And for some reason, like the usage of the, the thing skyrocketed uh, on last Friday and Saturday when I did a deploy. And so I accidentally spent $50 and then $80 in two consecutive days on like a single tiny little web server that no one was actually using on those days because it was a Friday and a Saturday. And so, yeah, like I owe Google Cloud $160 at the moment, which is like 3,000 Rand, which really sucks because it didn't go to anything, but just gonna chalk it up to, as a friend of mine said, um, tuition costs, you know, sometimes you just gotta learn, you gotta make mistakes, you gotta learn from them. And um, I'm really glad that the credit card bounced and that I, only owe 3,000 Rand and not 10,000 Rand, which is what it would have gone up to very quickly if I hadn't interdicted. And so, yeah, I will be very quickly moving that service over to a virtual private server, like a Linux uh, box, which I also happened to learn how to use this week for that client project, hosted with Nginx and hosted with um, Flask and that actually on a Linux server, doing some, more, some of the more nitty gritty, like uh, web server network hosting stuff. It's not serverless, it's not easy, but it's, damn cheap and it has no opportunity to skyrocket in costs like that because fuck, 3,000 Rand for a web service that honestly should cost like a dollar a month to run. So that was fucking awful. But I guess you learn, hey, and that's the first business mistake that I made so far. And yeah, <laughs> hopefully the, the next one is not so financially destructive. <laughs> um, but yeah, then um, besides that, um, I went to a founder week with a, that a mate hosted at his house uh, recently. So that was really cool. Spent a couple of days working with mates who are running their own companies and projects and that. And we just talked. We had a, a pitch evening as well where we discussed um, business ideas and we each had to present our business and our ideas. And it was really helpful to get some great advice on both the business, on my cold emails, on my website. And uh, it was just great to spend time with the boys and make some good progress on what I'm thinking about for the future of the business. So thanks for that, Josh. Um, and you know, out of that came the decision like to spend the whole of the last week um, updating my personal, not my personal, my um, business website. So by the time you're watching this, it'll be live. Go check it out. I recorded a whole new video for it, new video intro. That's why I've got the setup here with the light and everything. Um, and yeah, I, I simplified the website. I added some new, um, more customer facing um, sorry, customer centric text and, co and copy instead of um, like really technical because the website before was probably aimed at a higher technical level than the clients that I was hoping to pitch in the next few weeks. So yeah, I updated the website uh, this coming week. I'm gonna update my personal website. And yeah, I also ran another 21 kilometer. So that went really well. And I got a bit sick after that. So the bulk has not started yet, but it's coming soon. 
Um, I also managed to finish my AI novel last week, which was super sick. So I'm going to be releasing that in the next few days. I'm just doing the last little bit of editing. So yeah, it's about 27,000 words. Really happy with how it turned out. Five chapters, five different stories that all culminate in the last one to paint a picture of why AI is going to be so useful and cool and beneficial for humanity in the next few years. So look out for that coming uh, in a day or two after this video. Um, yeah, otherwise I'm going to be sending a whole lot of cold emails out this coming week to potential US clients because I've um, not exhausted the South African market, but I want to try my hand with the experience and the learnings that I've got from this first batch of cold emails and successful client projects with a kind of new market and with a slightly different email copy and a slightly different pitch. So I'm going to be doing that this week in addition to posting the novel, working on the client projects, fixing that fucked up um, <laughs> Google Cloud um, bill that I, I incurred. And yeah, otherwise just working hard on things and trying not to get too excited about the OpenAI um, developer announcement that's happening tomorrow. It's rumored that they're going to be releasing something like her, which is the amazing voice model um, that Samantha and uh, what was his name? Theodore. The, the movie was all about how AI could like become your friend, your lover, everything. Um, they might be releasing something similar to that tomorrow, maybe an agent's framework, whatever it is. I'm excited to see what yeah, they, they've been producing. And yeah, otherwise I think that's everything from me at the moment. Business is going well, personal life is going well. Um, yeah, don't have a lot of financial runway left until uh, that initial six months of runway runs out for the business, but I've made some money in the interim with the client projects and hopefully gonna be making some soon. So looking forward to it and I will catch you in the next update. Thanks for watching, bye.